Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, today I'm going to be showing off my new project. Uh, so a while ago, a lot of you probably know, I made a bedrock formation finder tool um, that could find a formation of bedrock anywhere in your overworld or another. And after I made that, I actually found out that some people had done something similar before, but for a completely different reason. And uh, that was to find a specific coordinate area based on um, a formation of bedrock that you saw in the world. And uh, yeah, as you know, you know, uh, the bedrock generates a specific way, so you could find like from a screenshot or a video, if you saw some bedrock, you could find that coordinate lo location, theoretically. So after I saw that, um, I was thinking of something else you could do. You could actually just use any uh, sample of terrain that um, you see in the world and uh, use that to also find a, uh, you know, coordinate area. Um, so some guys from, this is that uh, old, what I was talking about with the bedrock, it's mostly from guys on a server called uh, 2B2T, and uh, that's like a big anarchy server um, where, yeah, there's like a lot of people who have bases, and some people want to uh, find those bases sometimes because uh, they want to take them over or grief them or something like that. So... Uh, yeah, I decided to make a tool that searches the um, terrain for specific uh, like formations and can find the coordinates from that. Um, there was actually a couple people who asked me to do this uh, because I guess they probably want it for that server or maybe a different server. So yeah, uh, it's kind of similar to my Bedrock Formation Finder, but yeah, this, this works for any terrain that like basically generates not with world population or even like caves or ravines or anything but the very basic world generation um, so yeah I'm gonna show you how it works and yeah here it is so um, it takes a lot of input parameters so I'm gonna explain to you what it needs it obviously needs the world seed because that's what the game uses to determine the terrain generation um, you need the area you want to search in, similar to my Bedrock Formation Finder tool. Um, you also need a minimum and maximum Y coordinate because, yeah, um, you know, you don't want to search 0 to 256. That takes up more resources on your computer than is necessary, so you want to minimize that most basic terrain that generates at the top. Um, is probably about 60 to 80, so that's the default I set here. Um, actually, if you know where the ocean level is, you could actually, that's actually y equals 62 is the top water block, is y equals 62. So if you could possibly minimize this down to a single y coordinate, and it'll take even less resources, uh, if you are willing to figure that out. Next, we have these two checkboxes, and that you can either choose to search all biomes, or you could choose several specific biomes that you want to search in. And this next one here is the air above formation blocks checkbox. And uh, yeah, so most of the time you're probably gonna want to look for terrain that generates at the top of the world. So you might wanna uh, have a list of grass blocks and then this will automatically place air blocks above your formation. So you don't need to do that here. Um, and also, you might think grass blocks always generate the top of the world. Why would you need to search air blocks above them? Uh, sometimes there's some weird stuff with like the the code that I took out of the world generation. It it seems like there's this thing where several grass blocks can generate on top of each other, actually. So you probably still want to do this if you're searching at yeah, grass area. Uh, next, we have the formation creation. So. If you saw my last video for the Bedrock Finder, um, you, yeah, you basically have these, the, 
these three inputs here, and then your type. So for your type, you want to choose what type of block you're searching for. And there's a list of IDs that I will put in the description of this video to uh, show you what, you know, what uh, integer you have to put in here to get whatever type of block you want to search for. Um, and then here, you want to put in each block of the formation you want to search for. So you need to start, uh, I'm going to kind of explain this here, I'm going to go to Minecraft here. Um, so here is an example of a formation that I am searching for for this example video. Uh, yeah, I'm searching this square area here. I'm searching all of these grass blocks that are at the top of the world generation here. Um, this is a 5x5 five five square. Um, so what you need to do is probably do like a square area here. Um, the bigger the formation you make, the less likely you will get multiple formations or more formations than you are willing to search manually to find the one you actually want to you are actually looking for like the actual coordinates that you will find the spot at um, here's a five by five um, you may want to search a bigger area um, yeah uh, also i am in a plains biome right now so that uh, keep that in mind for, for a little bit later um, so you want to probably create a square area like I did here. Then you're going to want to go to the bottom left area here. Um, you might think, yeah, if I turn this way, this is also bottom left here. But it actually doesn't matter because um, the search actually will rotate your formation to still find the area. But you still probably want to start in the bottom left here. And once you do that, um, this... Uh, if you go straight, this will be the plus x direction. And uh, if you go to the right, this will be the plus z direction. So you have to make sure to keep that, like don't switch x and z, you wanna keep that this, like how I'm showing right here. So yeah, so this this first grass block here, that is zero, zero, zero relative to where it is starting to search at. So I actually have input that information already into my thing here. So if we go back here, um, yes, I have actually already created the formation. So you're going to want to input all four values here, and then you want to add the chords. So I've done that already, but you're going to want to click this button here. And uh, yeah, you see that got stored here as grass. Um, then if I go plus 1x, uh, 1, 0, 0, that if we go back here, you can you can see it is still part of this right here. So yeah, one zero zero right here. Um, oops. Yeah, so I went through and created the entire formation. Hopefully you understand that now. Uh, I used all grass blocks, as you can see here. If I show the list, that will show all of the current things in the list here. And if I want to remove uh, a block from the list, you just want to have the correct chords here and then click remove chords. So you could uh, take stuff out of the list too if you want to make a new formation. And next we have the biome specification. So I will also have a list of biomes in the descriptions and their uh, IDs as identified by the, like the Minecraft code actually. It had, each has a specific ID. And uh, yeah, so I'll have the list there. And kind of similar to this, you just input the biome ID and you click add biome. And if I show the biome list, I only have ID equals one. And that is because I'm searching in a plains biome. You can search in multiple different biomes. Uh, but yeah, you don't need to. You could also search all biomes and it'll just ignore this whole area here, this whole input. So if I check this, then it'll search every biome. But whether or not, uh, yeah, you don't need to do that. Um, so, if I click here, everything should be right. I'm going to be begin the search. And as you can see over here, it has a search progress bar, which it will use. Um, yeah, so if we just wait for a little bit, then it will 
will finish shortly. See, it found a location already. And it found a second location already here, as you can see. And it is completed now. So you can see it took 34 seconds to complete that search. And uh, I will, if I go back here, let's check the F3, we can see that it found the one location that we we are at right now, which is 468, 487. Um, oops, sorry. Sorry, I had to cut there for a second, but I'm back. Um, yeah, see, it's 468, 490. That's the same as what is shown in my formation finder there. Um, you see, it also found a different location. But, yeah, of course, you know, that's possible. That can happen. So, if we go to negative 110, 278... Let it load for a second. You can see we're also in a plains biome, and yeah, it'll have the same formation here, of course. Um, yeah, so I'm going to talk a little bit about strategies when using this kind of thing to find what you want, if you want to find uh, specific chords of a place or, or whatever. Um, yeah, so of course we want to um, do what I said when creating the formation. You want to start from the bottom left. Upwards is X and right is Z. Make sure you get that right. Um, it will rotate the thing correctly so you don't have to worry about the cardinal direction actually and you don't need to know that. Um, also when searching uh, rare biomes will obviously be better for the fact that um, they will have to search less chunks. When the code uh, is searching is brute forcing the uh, you know world generation like it does in this program um, it needs to execute the same code that Minecraft does to generate the basic chunk so yeah that can be kind of resource intensive so you want to avoid that when possible and searching for the correct searching for only the biome that uh, your formation is in will uh, obviously be better for that because you don't need to um, yeah create so many chunks which is basically the most resource intensive part of this program. Um, yeah, so when searching only planes biome, if you want some numbers, uh, I'll give you some here. Searching only planes biomes, um, I got about 700 to 1,000 chunks per second. Um, but when I searched in uh, Mesa biomes only, uh, I actually got like 4,000 to 5,000 chunks per second, which, yeah, you could do the math to figure out uh, how fast that would find your specific uh, formation uh, based on wherever you wanted to search in. Also, this formation finder I found is almost completely accurate, but not entirely for, in some locations for some reason. Uh, it's probably more than 90% accurate, but there's some things you want to make sure of. Um, you want to make sure there is pro no lakes, caves, or ravines within your uh, formation because this uh, finder doesn't account for that part of the world generation because I didn't really find it necessary and it would just take up more resources to generate those parts of the chunks. And yeah, they're basically not necessary anyways. Also, you don't want to include any parts of the world population, which include like uh, tall grass, uh, flowers, trees, etc. Uh, some, you know, small lava lakes and stuff like that that generate at the surface. You don't want to include that stuff that will not be found in the formation finder here. Um, you want to make sure that the terrain is pretty smooth and also, uh, yeah, so there's maybe no sharp chunks uh, maybe next to a lake like this. Like this lake, I'm quite sure, is part of the population, so you would not find that in the, I'm sorry, this is covering it here. Okay, yeah, this lake here. Um, is part of the world population so you probably don't want to include that only probably the top grass blocks or if you're in a desert biome the top sand blocks you know so keep that in mind 
Um, yes, so another thing you could search for, perhaps if you're in an ocean biome, you could search for gravel um, that has water on top of it. So that is also an idea. Um, if you can see, if you could get some of the gravel generation underneath. Uh, also, one other thing, um, I only made and tested this in 1.12.2. I'm pretty sure the world generation hasn't really changed since Minecraft 1.7, so this should work for terrain generated back to then. Um, so yeah, if you're using 1.6 terrain or before, don't expect this to work. Uh, it probably will not, so yes, keep that in mind. Um, uh, anything else that I could think of here? Um, yeah, there's always something I forget to talk about, but I can't really think of anything else at the moment. Um, yeah, so hopefully some people will appreciate this project. Um, it's pretty interesting to work on, so yeah. Um, maybe I'll talk a little bit more about the, the actual program here. Uh, yeah, it gives you the time that it takes to search, so if you want to test out a little sample before you search, do a large search, maybe you can do that. Also, you can uh, abort the search, like the bedrock formation finder. Just click it, the button again here after you start start, start your search. Um, yeah, it'll, I have a search progress up here now, so you can uh, have an idea of how far along you are. Um, yeah, when you use this, make sure to always have the correct seed, otherwise you could just waste a lot of time and uh, computer resources for nothing. Um, if you do the search all biomes up here, uh, I did search all biomes in some tests and uh, I got about 100 chunks per second, so it is significantly slower if you search all biomes as opposed to being able to distinguish which biome you actually want your uh, formation is actually in, um, so I would recommend. I would highly recommend uh, uh, trying to specify the biome because uh, you'll get your results much faster. Um, yeah. Uh, also, the location you are searching in is probably very important. If you could get an idea of where you want to search, that is obviously much better than searching, you know, a million by a million because that would take a ridiculous amount of time. Uh, even if you have a rare biome or something like that, it still take a very long time. So, yeah, I mean, you could still do very large searches, but, you know, expect it to take longer. Um, yeah, so keep that in mind. Uh, I think that is mostly it with what I wanted to show. Uh, obviously, the, like I said, the biome ID list and the formation, the, the block type ID list will be in the description. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, for your, for your, when you're searching for specific biomes, you also want to make sure, probably, that it is, you know, you don't have any other biomes that are really that nearby. So probably within uh, that specific biome, you want to maybe at least, you know, 10 or 20 blocks, something like that. So I would say keep that in mind also. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stop the video now. That's pretty much all I can think of. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, if you want to use it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Bye-bye.